I got my blood pumping. This feels much smoother throughout the entire power band. The whole package feels a lot better than previous generations. I drove the previous generation, like a 2010, and this car is a huge, huge improvement from that car. You're not trying to figure out how to drive the car. Yeah, how no, you want the car is doing the, what you course. would, as a driver, expect it to do. And then the throttle response seems way more aggressive. I mean, the throttle is there. You're not waiting for it. Yeah. The torque vectoring, it's unobtrusive. It's just got a little bit of magic to it where you can feel the car is doing something. Will this it turn in and, and hold? Yes, it will. It handles so well, but at the same time, you have that instant, immediate performance capability of the car. It's a, it's a perfect all-around car. Overall impression, this is how the car should come factory. Um, straight out of the box. This is what I have done and taken my car and spent a couple extra thousands of dollars to get it to do. This one's definitely more progressive. You can feel the changes happening a lot easier. The vision is miles better to start with. You can see more. You feel definitely more like a better driving position. It feels very nimble, so now I can't wait to get, it, get the numbers on the side of it and start racing it. I think they've met their goal of making the chassis meet the engine. Right now, I'd have to change my opinion and say that the STI is way better than the Evo 10. I think once it gets into consumers' hands, they're, they're, they're going to love it. Yeah. Absolutely going to love it. You know, the STI now is that next step up like you expect, and it has everything and more that you want from a car. It's, it's just unbelievable. Take it to your local autocross track and uh, collect your trophies. <laughs>